New Griffal map added to the MCC as well as improved waiting for the same game mode as well. Stone Town from Halo 2 Anniversary being removed. Halo 3 ranks coming in as well as well as the future for the MCC playlist for being talked about in this video. So stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news update when it comes to the MCC. We got a nice little playlist update coming for you guys as well as a little bit of a screenshot of what's going to be coming for you guys in the future as well. So if you guys like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are in the video as well. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you've been playing Griff Ball in the MCC, let me know. It's probably the, for me the best version is in Halo 3, but that's just my humble opinion. And if you guys are new to the channel and want to update with anything Halo related, that's Halo Infinite, MCC, Halo 5, Halo, Halo TV show, and everything in between, make sure you tap subscribe with the bell. It keeps you updated with everything going on the channel here, guys, and everything going on with Halo. So without further ado, let's get right into the video here. So for a new map being added to Halo 2 Anniversary Griff Ball for, make sure I try to pronounce this correctly, Lirene Castilla Field, is that pronounce it? Something like that. Uh, but basically looks like a pretty solid map, really kind of utilizes the skybox to feel a bit more when it comes to the visuals of the map. But still looks pretty solid, it should be a decent map to play on. I think it's pretty cool when you score the goal, you have to throw it in there if you can. That counts because if you go through the hole, you'll fly off the map, which is, I think it's kind of interesting. Uh, take on the Griff Ball map. Uh, talking about Griff Ball, we have some new presets for Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, and Halo 4 Social Matchmaking, where they basically added those in for Griff Ball, so it's not just you know certain types of game, game versions, which is great. And on top of that, they've actually returned the weight of Griff Ball across all titles to increase appearance when searching for additional other categories as well. So if you're going to be searching under those uh, action side game modes, you surely will become a Griff Griffball a bit more than you would be expected previously. And like I mentioned at the top of this video, Stone Town being removed for Halo 2 Anniversary for 4v4 categories. That's right. And this finally happened. Uh, I don't know why this map was ever playable for 4v4s uh, because it's certainly a big team battle map for how large it is. Uh, for Halo 2 Anniversary, like it's it's slower, but it's all right. But I have come across a lot of games where they do run to the score limit on that map, and which is a shame because the 4v4 is kind of my jam when it comes to playing Halo, and I'd not be able to see that map again. It's kind of sad because well, it's a beautiful map and they did a great job with it, but yeah, it just doesn't exactly play too well when it comes to 4v4s. So it's just a little too big to really uh, get the, the true. Uh, experience of 4v4 matches so totally understand that but yeah every other kind of game mode for Halo 2 Anniversary Stone Town will still be there for you guys just all 4v4 game modes for Stone Town have been removed. Now one playlist in the competitive side of things for MCC I've always thought it was a bit out of place was the Halo 3 4v4 Team Arena playlist and for some reason it's just been kind of like left there I feel like it's really a little out of place just because all the other game modes that are in the competitive side of things are all kind of like their MLG Pro settings for playing the matches, which I think is pretty much the proper way for ranks to go work in MCC. But uh, Halo, 2, Halo 3 and uh, Team Arena was just kind of like your standard Halo 3, but ranked. And I have a feeling it was kind of redundant compared to like the MLG settings when it comes to Halo 3. Uh, just because if you're going to try to rank up and do well and kind of sweat it out a little bit, you're probably going to be playing the hardcore playlist and not just the Team Arena playlist. And so 343 is going in there and got to try mixing things up a little bit. So what they're, But they're still keeping another Halo 3 playlist. So they're removing Halo 3 Team Arena, replacing it with Halo 3 Team Slayer. Now we'll still have your kind of regular Halo 3 settings, it looks like, but it will kind of favor more of the more popular modes and maps. Like say they mentioned here, like Guardian, Heretic, and Pit Stop are going to be more favored in the place compared to say Ghost Town or Assembly. Now a big thing they do say that in this place they will strictly enforce full team matching. So then you'll never match against a party of four unless 
you yourself are in a party of four. So keep that in mind. So if you're gonna try to find matches, honestly the best move would be searching with a party of three because then you still have a chance to match up with random so you can kind of steamroll on people right there. If you're matching, if you're going with a team of four, expect long waiting times because you'll be only matching against other parties of four at your same skill level. They do also mention in this post saying that they will keep an eye on it, see how this new ver version of a Halo 3 ranked mode plays out, see if it gets more populated, less populated, we'll see how it happens there. Honestly, in my opinion, I think they should just probably remove it completely and then just have hard Team Hardcore as your Halo 3 ranked version. I, should, I think they realize they should do that for every Halo game, Halo 2, Halo 2 Anniversary. Pretty much all your like your MLG Pro settings, whatever you want to call them, have those be your ranked modes. Have everything else be social because honestly, sometimes it can get really hard to find matches, even in Halo 3 Hardcore, which is probably one of the most populated playlists when it comes to competitive. And so I would think you just want to try to funnel people who want to like rank up and sweat it out and try hard. Follow those people into that playlist, which is kind of like your bread and butter highlight playlist that you that 343 seems to always have kind of on display. But then uh, splitting up the player base a little bit there, we're having the team uh, slayer ranked mode it does kind of uh, divide up the player base a little bit. But I'm sure anyone who wants to play hardcore will probably just jump into hardcore. So yeah, guys, that's the update. Pretty short and simple. Pretty much to the point right there. So yeah, we got new griff ball maps. We have uh, new presets for when it comes to your existing griff ball settings. And they also have more waiting for Griff Ball when it comes to like action sack modes you're searching for and the removal of Stone Town for in 4v4 modes, as well as the removal of Halo 3 Team Arena for Halo 3 Team Slayer, which I think is probably what you would really want to do for that. If you want to have two separate ranked Halo 3 modes, but me personally, I think you should just have one ranked Halo 3 mode and have that be hardcore, but that's just my opinion. I'm sure there's some people out there who really enjoy Team Slayer and want it being ranked. Let me know in the comment section if that's one of you guys, because I would like to see your opinion as I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you enjoy these kind of news and information videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let us know if you want to see some more content like this. If you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. And if you, like I said, if you miss any content as well, check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.